Hello everybody, my name is Anton. Welcome back to Let's Play Kaiser Eich as the CSA. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, uh, we're pushing our way down into Florida. We are sending some more reinforcement divisions, our newly trained actual infantry. I know uh, the day has come and that's wild. Of course, this front line is a bit, little bit uh, old, so we can just ignore that for now. Red, I think, is still doing some fantastic work. Yeah, so you guys all pushing this all pushing that province just a massive massive attack there uh, You guys hold off from here for now yeah, So reinforcement division is trying to slowly reach there uh, Yellow's not attacking at this moment there's a lot of PSA troops and there's a handful of Japanese troops as well in the uh, the area And we're gonna have four troops from uh, Missouri very soon Kentucky Nebraska Three militias from Georgia. Oh, okay, we're actually pretty close to taking Georgia. And we're also decently close to reclaiming all of Kentucky, which I think is going to be uh, good for us. Like, how many troops do you have? 59 to 95 divisions. We have, like, 150. So we, by and large, completely outnumber them. Kingdom of Siam has joined the Cross Prosperity Sphere. Literally doesn't matter in the slightest to me. So, you know, you do you. Yes, yeah, so we got a handful of Russian troops here. Okay, purple, you know what? You actually hold off for now. You're not actually winning any of your engagements. So just reorganize yourself somewhat. Does yellow want to attack? Uh. No, I think yellow's fine for right now. And our. Good infantry divisions, uh, they haven't quite arrived yet. But they think that the enemy is so weak that they don't even care that the uh, reinforcements haven't arrived. Okay, well apparently they don't want to uh, wait anyways. We can counterattack into you. I'm really glad that the, uh, the war is going pretty okay. So we got a handful of divisions here. Um, we will send them up to you. No, send them to New England. I, I'm, I feel like we actually have a, a decent enough, uh, like a decent amount of troops right now on the front line with the uh, American Union state and the Pacific states. Like, I'm not too worried. Again, I'm more worried about what Canada's going to do. Defense scheme number one. Does that involve anything? Great St. Lawrence, the Maple Line. So I guess in the AI, is a little bit worried that I might just counterattack into them. Okay, so we've improved our infantry equipment. Excellent. Uh, let's just upgrade to the next level. The M1 Thompson, I think, sounds uh, like a fun little gun. Okay, so we're winning in both of our engagements here. Um... Argentina and Nashville. Apparently Argentina won that war. It's a bit of a surprise. They didn't actually look like they were going to. Okay, so you've cantered to them. You help in this engagement. You guys are fine where you are. Like, we're very close to taking over all of Kentucky, which is nice. And Georgia, as well, is somewhat close to being uh, within our grasp, I would say. Push the Pacific Front. No, I'm actually always waiting until we can uh, push the longest front again. Because Pacific States, you do whatever. It, it doesn't really matter to me. As long as we're not, like, actively horribly losing, you can do whatever. Okay, so let's push into these provinces. Uh, you can just go into Birmingham. And just take over that city. Apparently something's happening in the southeast. I don't think it's not, it's not going to be like a naval invasion, no. It's, that sounds like the naval invasion sound, but I don't think there's any way the AI could effectively actually do anything against me. Okay, so center militia's over here. Infantry goes that way. Excellent. We're very, very close. How many troops do we get from Georgia again? We're going to get uh, three militias, which is not too, too bad. I mean, it could be better, but also it could be, like, significantly worse. 
Okay, so uh, you are doing a okay, my dude. Montgomery is about to fall into our hands. You are about to uh, completely crush here. So let us get our uh, focus that makes our that removes the twenty percent penalty for organization. And we also got you know a million more man or a hundred thousand manpower from allowing women to join into the army, which I think sounds fine. Uh, what can we do here? You guys are very, very well defended, so all of you for right now can hold position, reorganize yourselves, and throw actually more into artillery than into uh, more guns. At least for right now, because I think our rifle situation, it's not great. Oh, well, actually, 8,400 of that's for uh, training new divisions. Reinforcements is definitely more important. So it's like we can't really train new troops right now, but that's like not actually a huge concern. How many men do I have that's not revolutionary guards? Uh, about 50, 56 divisions of mine are actual troops that will, I, I will not go away at the end of the Civil War. I'll send you guys over here because once again, you're like an actual infantry division. And more infantry divisions are slowly arriving. So you're not doing so hot. Uh, so keep fighting the battles that you're winning. Stop fighting the battles that you're losing. I know it's a, it's a, it's a revolutionary concept. Okay, Honduras has uh, expanded quite a bit. Revolutionary Front has grown quite a bit. I think they can actually just reform into one country. And then it'd be really nice if you would just um, help me in the Civil War. Like, you don't have to do much AI, just, uh, you know, maybe, like, you know, send, like, a little card or something that might, uh, encourage the troops. So what can I do? What can I do right now? So, again, Georgia, it'd be nice to deal with you. One troop from Georgia. Alabama would give us two divisions. Kansas is not going to be under our control because of these two provinces. If we took these two provinces, we'd actually be able to recruit people from two different states. How, how well dug in are you? Uh, 6%. Well, let's just reinforce those guys to the south. You guys can keep moving to the north. We don't have enough detailed information about them. Are we getting our uh, 59 days so we get better decryption? A nationalist victory in South Africa. Fine, you just hold on for now. It'd be nice to push our way down into uh, Florida. Yeah, we're at 77 there, 28 there. Uh, just like, let's do another general offensive. I think that should be fine. So 62, 28, 77. Yeah, you're just very, very well defended. Maybe we want to try to push into this guy and just surround these uh, tank divisions. Or surround, I guess, the one tank division. Okay, Commune of France is not leasing us anything anymore. Canada, okay, you're not doing anything that's actually going to involve a major war. And you actually don't have uh, a defensive line. So your offensive line is going to be push your way to Miami and push your way down the coast here. Native Fiesability, the Union Rebels. Are there troops here? Like, it doesn't look like it. Oh, no, there are. God, you're all annoying as hell. Okay, well... You guys front line right there. Uh, can I deploy troops? The answer is no. So I guess for now, you guys deploy over here. How come I don't have any rebels in their territory? It actually doesn't make sense. Like, they don't... This wasn't a core of theirs, was it? I mean, they have a claim, but I don't think it was a... Uh, it didn't start off as a core of theirs. 
But why are they so upset? But at 76, we need a little bit of uh, rubber, so we'll get that from the Germans. We get a little bit of aluminum, we'll get that from the French. Because, of course, you know, we do have country, uh, control more or less over these territories. I'll stop yellow because they're not really getting anything done. Light blue is getting a handful of things done. You know, they're marching a handful of territories inward. You guys push your way here. So 81. And we're just thinking more of the American Union States uh, convoys. Uh, you're losing, like, basically all of your battles. So you'll hold position then. At least until this guy can at least march into uh, that province. So you're at 78. You're at 62. And just like a massive attack on their front would be nice. Reinforce this attack here. And if we can just encircle this one troop, that will make our job a little bit easier. Yeah, you guys just do this. Just try to get the surveillance on these soldiers. Do not let them take the port. Under no circumstances, let the AI take the port, because that actually can completely screw us over. Do they take the port in the north? No, they don't have a port province in the north. You're going to be completely encircled. So many penalties to you, at least right now. Are you not out of supplies? Taking them a while, I guess. Uh, so what can we do with you? Uh, one of you go and reinforce that front. You are losing a little bit there. We did get to surround on these guys. Yeah, they're in a circle. But, I mean, they're still pretty entrenched right now, which does suck. Yellow apparently feels confident attacking. If you feel confident attacking, then you just attack. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Sure, I'll take all of your stuff. And then I still don't want to push it. I don't want to push against the Pacific. I want to push against the longest. And you're still defending all that stuff. All right. So again, you should have like no supplies. Apparently you're not encircled, which is odd. I don't know why you're not considered encircled. No way you are. You're not in multiple combats like these guys in the north are. Never mind. I understand where I've made my error. So long, uh, you have trained a handful more troops. You've lost almost a million men. We've we've lost over like, oh, we've lost almost seven hundred thousand. So we're not much to talk, but still, okay, so you're pushing out a little bit there. It's too many troops in the Pacific states. They have too many soldiers. You know, what? you also push here. If you can push in that province, that obviously would be nice. These two provinces should fall. The tank divisions did also all die, which is excellent. If you can, like, at least maybe, like, cut off these troops. I mean, they'll still have, like, supplies through the, the ports of Florida, but... Maybe the AI will try to reprioritize their, uh... Organization somewhat. How many troops are here? Like, a decent amount. AUS Longest Rebels... Okay, now they're going to be multiple combats at least. Or maybe one of them is. And just keep shooting at them forever. Just forever and ever and ever until something good happens. Recruit three troops in Kentucky. Excellent. So what does standard unit size do? Yeah, remove the pretty bad penalty. Valor for the next research. I mean, I'm already researching that, so... I'm not going to get that... Focus, at least not for right now. So let's go for every army leader gets planning and logistics skills. I mean, that seems pretty good to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I mean, it sounds really nice. Okay, Oliver Law has been wounded. Sad day for the CSA. Yeah, we're basically slowly, slowly pinning them in. Over a million men dead on their side. It's not going to get any better once these guys die as well. 
North's gonna get better when these guys die. Yeah, that's, this is like 12 divisions right here, which I'm guessing was uh, counted towards them. The manned home rule. It'd be really funny if Canada just declared one New England. I mean, they are slowly starting to uh, build tries up. Yeah, so you go back up to your front line. That counts as like another decent loss for them. How strong are these troops? Answers I have no idea. Okay, excellent. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're very, very close to taking Tallahassee. You know, you counterattack here. Counterattack. Yeah, you go. Two go here. One goes there. Orange. Apparently, Orange feels confident attacking. That's the first time in a while uh, Orange has felt like they can maybe get something done here. Maybe it's because they're counterattacking in many, many different uh, places that the AI feels a little bit more confident than normal. We'll stop the yellow attack for now. Even though, hey, there is an empty spot that you can just walk into right there if you want to go and seize that opportunity. So these three troops in Kentucky are going to be ready to deploy right now. Send them down to blue, because, you know, we still need to actually... You know what? Don't send them down to blue. Attention. Send them to pink over there. Okay, so we are, uh, we've uh, sunk uh, uh, an enemy ship. You have to attack your way into Tallahassee. Get our troops to where they need to be. Do not let the enemy take that province from you. Oh shit, we've actually lost a province. We've lost a battle. Sad day for everybody. Indonesia, okay, so they're at war. That's fine. Let's go. You, know, you stay here for now. Order's been restored to Delaware. Excellent. Getting out some more cores. Anybody doing anything that's going to get a war? The answer is not quite, so we're fine, at least for now. Oh, three guys from Georgia? I would love three troops from Georgia. Okay, so you can counterattack into there. You guys push into here. That should belong, I'm gonna go say, into the Red Army. Just a counter push. Yellow's looking like we can maybe actually get something good done here. Okay, yeah, push, push, push. Uh, one of you guys can stay behind, though, just in case. Oh, Long. Huey, Huey, Long. It's not looking like a great day for you. South Africa. Okay, so who has won? Okay, so South African vote. This is actually the first time I think I've seen it in the opposite order, where the Nationalists have won. And, uh, I guess moderates declared, uh, the Civil War. We're actually doing some good job there. For 94, another general has been wounded by the enemy. Okay. Guys push in. Red Army needs to kind of organize themselves somewhat better. Have you guys actually managed to push in any of these provinces? Actually, you are. I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. Uh, you go to this city. I'm surprised we're actually able to counterattack into these guys and, and win. But that's 800 defense in that mountain province. Don't even attempt to attack there. That's not going to work out in anybody's favor. Yeah, we can probably push into that province. Very close to actually closing off this gap. You know, Red, are you winning any of these battles? The answer is no. So, Red, you hold off for now. Get yourself into a defensive position. And you're still winning this battle here. Okay, so, we have three new divisions. Go back up to Canada. They want this secured. I mean, your offensive line is basically just going to be like, hey, push your way to national takeover of the Netherlands. That's fine. So push your way to basically the only Canadian cities 
in this part of the world. I don't think that... Okay, that is, that is going through Winnipeg. That's fine, then. Okay, those two battles are still going fine, though. The Reds going to get themselves in position. Purple is slowly also moving into where they need to be. Oh, long. Your days are numbered. Uh, so, again, it's 1938. Is there anything we can research... Very quickly. We can't mount any troops, which actually probably wouldn't even be a bad idea given uh, the circumstances. However, we're going to go for a better industry. And I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember thumbs up. Not enjoy, thumbs down. Want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.